Uh, I did fool around with chemical relaxers, trying to get my hair super straight and putting sores on my scalp, flaking up, the whole thing bleeding, so I know about it, you know, and I can talk about it from the, having that experience of having a sore scalp. But I am tender-headed. I've always done my own hair because I'm tender-headed. I have one other person that does my hair now, and that's my brother. I cut my hair about six months ago. And I love it like this. I get a lot of questions. A lot of questions about how do the men like my hair like this. And what I want to really, let me see, I can't. <laughs> what I really want to talk about is um, with natural hair, it's about confidence. So you're going to get some product. Um, we're going to talk about products, but we're going to also talk about us as black women, women of color, and how we are feeling about our natural hair. We have a lot of issues dealing with our natural hair. And I really would love for you guys to ask me any question. We have a lot of giveaways. We have some great product junkie bags, so make sure you don't leave here without one. And just get ready to have fun. But when it comes to shampooing, what you want to do, if you are concerned about some of the ingredients, is use a sulfate-free shampoo. My top recommendations for sulfate-free shampoo, and I don't know that I have, is Jane Carter Solution. You've heard of Jane Carter Solution. Jane Carter Solution, also Curls. Curls makes a really good sulfate-free shampoo. So when it comes to shampooing, what you want to do is generally start where? At the, some of you like to do co-washes. If you don't know what a co-wash is, a co-wash is... Any questions about that? Say it louder. You don't need to, it's liquid. Yes, this becomes your water substitute. Okay? So, so do you, uh... And that's always a challenge for women who sweat a lot or going through menopause or working out. It is definitely a challenge not to wash your hair every day. It happens a lot to younger women who ponytail their hair wet in the same space all the time. And that little scrunchie they use will mildew and it creates that odor in the hair. The only way I know how to get that smell out, you may have boyfriends, you smell that odor. Yes. And you're like, <laughs> yeah. We had to blow dry it and bless it and light it. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot. So apple cider vinegar, since you brought that up, is really good to, it's also really good if you have super dry scalp or you're dealing with dandruff issues, because it helps, then it starts to pull up all the little gum. The third time is getting washed away. So take the time out to do three times. A lot of us jump in, we jump out, we don't do it, and we don't condition. Conditioner is important because when you shampoo the hair... I've seen a lot of YouTube um, ladies say that they use water mixed with oils as a leave-in. So would you recommend that or would you say get a specific product that is a specific leave-in for the hair? Do it. It's not going to hurt the hair. It's not going to hurt the hair, okay? But if you find that you've done it and you have buildup, or it looks dry, or it's not giving you that extra, she said, when you shampoo the hair, should you use hot water, warm, or cold? What do you guys think? When you put the conditioner in your hair, um, I'm hearing a lot about it not absorbing into the cuticle if you don't put um, like um, a cap or a hot towel. What's the best way to make sure that the, the conditioner actually absorbs into your hair? So, and that's the difference between knowing which oils to put on the scalp versus the hair. Castor oil is excellent. Castor oil is good because it helps grow your hair. It helps grow your edges naturally. Ask me, is it true that you should Finish your hair with washing it with cold water. The reason why, right, see some of the products, like even with the bloggers, they make their own pizza. And really it's been trialed and error. You guys may not have that time to just kind of whip up stuff, try it and see what works. So if you're watching some of the bloggers on YouTube and they have something you're interested in trying, try it. See if it works for you. But the difference between what I do and what the bloggers are doing, I'm a cosmetologist, 
So I work with so many different types of kinky curly hair, so many. Yeah. We're all different. Some of us are light, some of us are dark, some of us are caramel, some of us are copper, some of us have curly hair, kinky hair, straight hair, straight on the ends, straight at the base, kinky on the ends. I mean, you know, and then you have your heritage and your ge genetics that play a part. So you might have kinky hair in the middle, straight hair in the back. It's hair, and you need to love all of it. Embrace all of it. It's all. They found that perfect ingredient that will go in and give you exactly what you need for if you're sitting under the dryer or let's say that you condition your hair and you decide to wrap it up in a nice head wrap and go throughout the day and it won't hurt the hair. And Shea Moisture is one of my top favorite. And a protein treatment is good for everybody because it can, you can over protein your hair. You, I mean, I've used this for a long time because I used to do a lot of hair on uh, movie sets and you had to keep the continuity going. So I found that this didn't flake up on me. It didn't, and it didn't take the hair out either. I love this. For those of you who say, I don't have enough moisture in my hair, it looks a little dull, this is Coils by Nature, Shialo Leave-In Conditioner. And because we have some wonderful sponsored prizes, some of you will leave here with, with this. This stuff is awesome. You don't need that. It damages the ends of the hair. The ends of the hair are already dry. And most of the time, they're already damaged and ready to break off. So it's, well, because you guys keep talking about shrinkage. You keep saying to me, I don't want my hair to shrink. And also because, and if you do it in its high heat, like I said, yeah, because the hair is stronger at the base than it is at the ends. So how often should you blow your hair out? But I really want you guys to understand, natural hair, the reason why it's so amazing and such a blessing is we can do anything to it, really. We really can. And I, I know that a lot of us want long hair. You got to get over it. Some people are not going to have long hair. And it's okay. And that's another thing about natural hair. I get a lot of questions where women say to me, it takes too long. It's too hard. Like, why do I have to go through all these steps to do my hair? I just need to wash it and throw something on and go. No, that's a date with yourself. And it's got ammonia and peroxide and all that. You don't know how much they put in. Chances are you will have hair loss. And I know, because I did. Or you can use henna. Henna, some people don't like it. It dulls the hair, it dries it out. Henna's like a stain. It stains the hair. So sometimes it's hard to lift the colors with henna. But with this, and my little box is beat up, Nutritint. Nutritint is amazing. And ladies, speaking of that, those of you who are trying to get rid of your gray hair, listen, I got something to take, tell you about that. <laughs> if you're trying to get rid of gray hair, be sure. You know why? Black women, we are the only ones that lose our edges. Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah. We're the only ones losing our edges. Yeah. And it starts when we're little. And then actually their sheets, the cotton, dries the hair out, which is why it's good to sleep on satin pillowcases and cover up. So you take them out. <laughs> I always recommend this. This is Root Stimulator by Organic Root. This is the Temple Balm. Let me tell you something about this. It works. I've used this for years. Not five years, like 15 years. Seriously, it works. Uh, and there is a topical treatment that you can order online for menopause hair loss and pregnancy hair loss. That works very well. It's a little pricey. Yeah. So take the time out to really, really treat yourself well when it comes to your hair, inside and out.